Are you struggling with hooks and slices? Well, it might be due to how your trail shoulder moves in the swing. So there's something called right side bend. So what right side bend is how that trail shoulder moves in the swing. So if I just tilt to my right, that's right side bend. In the golf swing, as I get to the top and work down, that would be right side bend right there. So that'd be me tilting to the right in the down swing. Now what happens for those that slice it, that right shoulder never gets in the right side bend. It stays high, and then we try to make a move at the bottom. And what happens if that stays high for too long, we'll start to swing across it, we'll start to hit slices. Now the opposite is also true. For those that hook it, that right shoulder might be coming down too much and staying too far behind then going out to the right. I'm gonna show you both shots and then we'll talk about what we're gonna to feel to correct that. So first one is that over the top slice move. That's that right shoulder staying high, club coming across. What we're gonna see on our trackman data here is that the club path is going to be negative. Let's see what happens. That, that's right shoulder staying high coming across. We start to see a negative club path there. Now for me, I'm a draw player, so it's very hard for me to get my path left. But for some of you, if you're on track and you might see like negative five, negative six. So if we're seeing video, that's surely going high and staying high. This is how we're gonna feel. We're gonna feel how the draw player would. The draw player might wanna feel what the slice player feels. All right, so for that person who's hooking it, that right shoulder might be dipping down too much and then causing the arms to throw out to the right. So for those slicers, this is the feel you want. For those hookers, you'd want to feel what the slicer's doing. So let's see what the hooker does. The right shoulder dips down too much, stays back, that ball's gonna hook. And then we see the path shoots out to the right considerably. What I want both of you to feel, whether you're a slicer or a hooker, is really focusing on how the trail shoulder moves in the swing. I'm gonna go up to the top, I'm gonna stop, let it drop a little bit, when your hands are about belt buckle high, I want you to feel that shoulder working out. And then when we're about parallel to the ground, we can let that shoulder working to the target. So again, we go up, let the shoulder drop, work it out, work it out and towards the target. All right, that's gonna help correct too much of this and too much of that. Now let's see what happens when we put everything together getting that right shoulder moving a little bit better. Hopefully we start to see a little bit straighter shot. So let's get set. Feel the shoulder down a little bit, out and around. Now when we put everything together, you'll see a lot straighter ball flight. So hopefully you get away from those dips in the shoulder or the over the top move we can start to get a more neutral position with how this trail shoulder moves in the swing if you like this video go ahead and click like and subscribe we hope to hear from you soon